Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. The Supreme Court on Friday distanced the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Olu Kayode Ariwola, from a purported meeting with the President-elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, in London. Numerous reports that circulated the news arena in Nigeria had alleged that the Chief Justice of Nigeria and the president-elect had a secret meeting in London. These reports claimed that the Chief Justice of Nigeria disguised himself in a wheelchair and was transported onto the plane to London. However, the spokesperson for the Supreme Court, Festus Akonde, dismissed these reports as untrue on Friday. Akonde clarified that while the Chief Justice of Nigeria had traveled abroad, it was solely for medical reasons and not for a meeting with the President-elect. Akonde informed Premium Times and uh, other news outlets that the Chief Justice of Nigeria was present in Nigeria and chaired the National Judicial Council meetings on March 16 and 17. Akande explained that the Chief Justice of Nigeria only traveled out of Nigeria briefly to London on the 18th of March for medical care. According to him, the Chief Justice of Nigeria was accompanied by the Niger National Judici Judicial, uh, Judicial Council Secretary Gambo Sali. According to Akande, the Chief Justice of Nigeria came back from his medical journey to London on March 23rd and resumed work at the office in Abuja until 8 p.m. that day. He also stated the Chief Justice of Nigeria had only traveled once earlier this year on January 25th for the Lesser Hajj in Saudi Arabia. He returned on January 29th 2023. Alright guys, the Supreme Court has finally broken silence on the purported or alleged meeting that uh, it was the news circulated had said that the Chief Justice of Nigeria had uh, gone to or disguised and traveled to London to have a secret meeting with the President-elect after the Labour Party and the PDP had uh, petitioned the uh, uh, tribunal uh, on the outcome of the 2023 presidential election. It remains to be seen if this is true or not. Although so many um, outlets had come out to, or persons as it were, had come out to uh, debunk that uh, particular news or story to be untrue. And the same thing is what the spokesperson for the Supreme Court is actually saying at the moment, that that particular information or piece of information is untrue. Setting the record straight that the Chief Justice of Nigeria had only traveled to uh, London uh, for medical purposes. And as at the time that uh, the president-elect uh, was said to have left the country according to reports, the Chief Justice of Nigeria is still in the country and uh, had not left the country. Well, it is what it is at the moment. In as much as we do not uh, encourage fake news or uh, news that are not uh, that are not uh, 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 certified to be true, it is important that um, people out there uh, get the right information, know the truth of the matter, and also run with it. Well, it is what it is. Guys, it has been said that it is untrue that uh, there was a secret meeting. You know, the reason why people are a little bit agitated as regards this particular news story is because of the 
uh, petition that the Labour Party and the PDP had put out uh, against the president-elect, who uh, had been said to have uh, a criminal uh, um, a criminal allegation against him, and as a as a result, does not is not is deemed not fit to contest for the presidential election. But however, this case is in court, and it is the court that will determine if there is any uh, truth or if there is any yes if there's any truth in it and. Um, Otherwise, so people had actually thought that probably the president-elect had invited the chief justice over to actually meet him or to discuss or probably bribe or probably induce on how the, uh, the, the outcome of this particular issue would be in his favor. And that is the mindset that a lot of people had, uh, you know, uh, garnered. That's what they perceived. But be that as it were, it has now been debunked that that meeting never held, and there was no such meeting or any such intention for such meeting to hold. It tells you that um, uh, it remains to be seen if um, there will be any other meeting in, in this, because that would have been very, very cheap and very, very uh, wrong move for both the APC and the Chief Justice of the Federation. Don't forget that all eyes are on the Supreme Court. All eyes are on the election, the petition, uh, election petition court tribunal to actually give Nigerians the true essence of democracy to make them understand and believe that truly the hope of the masses is in the judiciary. Because over time, the government has pocketed the judiciary in Nigeria. Over time, they have pocketed the judiciary in Nigeria. Look at what happened during the case of uh, President Muhammad Buhari in 2015, or was it 2015 or 2019, whereby the former Chief Justice of the Federation, uh, Justice uh, Onore, was actually removed before his time. And uh, on the basis of uh, the fact that he declared uh, some wrong what have you. But the truth of the matter was that if you look closer, you would agree with me that that was not actually the reason why he was removed. He was removed because they felt that he was going to be working against the APC at the election petition tribunal. And uh, that was the notion that many people have as, the, as to the reasons why he was removed. So for a very long time, look at the same thing that happened in Imo State, that uh, uh, Hopus Odima eventually became, who was fought in that election, eventually became the governor of the state. It tells you that a lot of things are not uh, right, uh, sitting down well with the people, with the judiciary. So to avoid this, a lot of people are beginning to feel that um, the, those who have the money are buying out the judiciary. Well, it is what it is. What are your thoughts, guys? Drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you.